Hi, I'm Anya. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we start Christmas recipes. Yay! <laughs> I'm excited. A lot of cooking, a lot of baking, and we're going to start with babka piegovata, which we would call uh, hmm, freckled babka, but basically it's a poppy seed babka. So maybe let's call it poppy seed babka. And it is delicious. It is a uh, yeast dough, it is sweet, it's with raisins, with poppy seeds, it's perfect. I hope you guys are going to join me and give it a try. And in case you decide to do that, let's have a look at the ingredients so you know what you need. I will start with the flour. I'm adding it to the bowl of my stand mixer. Then I'm adding the salt. And with my hook attachment, I'm going to stir it a little bit just to combine it. All right, when this is ready, I'm going to add the sugar. milk eggs vanilla extract and then I'm going to sprinkle the yeast on top okay and right now I'm going to let my mixer work on it After it was going for around 30 seconds, I'm adding melted butter. Just make sure that the butter is not hot, because we do not want to scramble our eggs. While my mixer is working, which is going to take for around 5 minutes, I'm preparing the juice and the zest of... Well, in my case, it's uh, tangerines. I didn't have any oranges, but uh, it works same way it gives amazing aroma so here we go we have some orange juice and i'm just stirring it in a little bit before i will add the zest again give it a stir you could add it all at the same time and then in goes the poppy seeds all right and now I will let it work until I'm getting a smooth dough see just like that it still needs to be sticky we don't want it to be too hard and at the end I'm adding the raisins all the other ingredients could have been added all together except the raisins because if we add the raisins too early they're going to smash and color our dough and then we don't see the freckles that well while my mixer is working i'm going to spray with a non-stick spray my working surface and then i'm going to transfer the dough on it and i'm going to knead it a little bit because i want to distribute the raisins better the mixer didn't do a good job there really 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 relaxing all right then we have a ball of dough and again non-stick spray I'm going to spray the ball and then I'm going to spray the dough as well I don't want this to dry out okay we're going to Cover and let it rise for around two two and a half hours we really need it to at least double in size okay, and when it's ready again spraying my surface with non-stick spray well Isabella helped me out there and then I'm going to uh, divide my dough in half here we go 
As you can see, I have uh, a Panettone mold. I ordered it on Amazon and uh, you can get it there too. It's really, really nice. And that's why I'm preparing two babki in Panettone molds. Okay, so I have a ball of dough. It goes into one form. And then the second half goes into the second mold. Time to spray again. I'm going to cover with plastic wrap. Then I'm going to also cover it with a tea towel. But the um, important part is right now we need to leave it until it fills in the forms and that might take longer time. I think it took around three and a half hours for me. And that's how it looks like when it's ready. We have our oven preheated to 180 degrees Celsius, which is 350 Fahrenheit. And right now I'm just brushing the babki with uh, a little bit of egg wash and I'm going to bake them for around 45 minutes. Now, halfway through, as you can see, I had to cover it and you can just use aluminum foil. I used the tray, it was really handy uh, because they, they will brown, so you don't want them to burn. Keep an eye on them. Okay, then I'm going to transfer onto the uh, wire rack. And that's how I'm going to let them cool. Well, I didn't really wait here until it cooled, so uh, I'm peeling off the, the mold, burning myself a little bit. Okay, I let it cool though before I cut it, because otherwise it would fall into pieces. Here we go, this is how it looks like, it's delicious. It is crispy on the outside, then it's soft and yielding on the inside with the sweetness of the raisins and a little bit of a crunch from the poppy seed. And you can feel the orange juice or tangerine juice in my case, amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed the movie. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye. Smacznego. Hi, I'm Anya. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to prepare together Projaki and Projaki this is kind of a Polish flatbread or a pita bread